All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while. I feel like I cheated on you guys because I stopped posting on here and I started posting a lot on TikTok, but it was honestly just because I wanted to test out which platform I liked the best. So I did give each platform a little bit of a chance and I did come to the conclusion that I love YouTube a lot more. I just like talking to you guys and just long form videos. I, to this day, watch YouTube videos almost every single day of my life. So I love that content and that's the content that I aspire to put out. So the short form content, it's fun, it's easy, but it's just not exactly what I want to do, which is why I decided to start YouTube again and this is where I'm going to stay. That's it. No more back and forths. This is where I'm going to stay. I make it easier just because my life is a little bit hectic. I want to start making videos more so like FaceTime. So I'm just going to grab the camera and just give you guys what I'm doing in that day. It's nothing going to be nothing crazy, nothing pre-planned. I'm just, I really want to just show you guys my day to day as a mom of three, as a mom who... Is just trying to regain her identity and stay true to herself and that's just what I want to show you guys so thank you guys so much for sticking along and for being here and if you guys are new here thank you guys so much for tuning in go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already today is Monday it is like a little bit of a reset day there has been so much going on in my life internally externally just honestly a little bit of everything that I want to share with you guys and I don't think I'll be able to fit it all in one video and I'll definitely make more videos on this and talk more as you know just certain things progress and life progresses and everything like that but right now there's just a lot going on that I would like to update you guys on this is horrible look at that I'm gonna redo it give me a second Okay, so I got it up how I wanted it. It's like a half up kind of thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this to it. I've been loving little accessories for my hair. Lately, I'm usually a very boring person when it comes to hair. Just simply because I, I don't know how to do hair. I don't know anything else other than the basic curling, straightening, and like that's it. Call it a day. But I have challenged myself lately to start learning new things with my hair. So I've been buying like different accessories. For example, yesterday I used the cutest like light blue top and I put this on. I also purchased like little butterfly clips and just different hair accessories. And I think it's very cute and very fun, especially for spring and summertime. But also, you know, just it inspires the creativity side of me so i'm very excited and i'm very you know just having fun with it sometimes i may look a little crazy just because i'm learning but i give myself grace which is what's important with that being said i have been going through so many different changes and so many different things uh this year i decided that i just i just want to be myself again i feel like I had kids, as you already know, one after the other, and I did kind of lose myself into being a mom and let myself go in so many different areas. But I'm, I decided this year that it was gonna be the year where I put myself first and took care of myself again. So I've been working a lot on my health. For example, after my pregnancies, I started having a lot of health issues things that some people don't even know about, only my husband and I know about, but a lot of things in my health that I just never struggled with before. I never knew that could happen, honestly, to me. I've always been a very healthy person, never had an allergy, never had a skin issue, never had anything wrong with me, thank God. But after pregnancy, I have been seeing a lot of things going on with me i'm gonna put on some like a lip mask or something because my lips are so dry and so i decided this year to you know take care of that take care of my health go to the doctors and do all of that so that's all things that i am starting to do now and just taking care of 
you know, the importance of my health. Uh, I also feel like as I'm getting older, I'm not old, but I am getting older and, uh, you know, just certain things just start to present themselves and I'd rather be ahead of the game than uh, be sad later. So that's what I've been up to in my health. But of course, I think it's very important to take you guys along that journey with me when I go to the doctors, what I do to you know help my health and all of that just because i know i'm not the only one struggling with this and i know that a lot of moms and women and young girls could benefit from you know somebody going through the same thing that they're going through and just showing you guys how i can get on the other side i'm not on the other side yet but i will get there and i will show you guys the journey of it all the good the bad and the ugly also I have been very focused on my mental health. I've had very bad mental health in the past like few months, but I have figured out a way to like snap out of it. Obviously, it's a process and it takes time and it's something that I had to work on daily because if I don't, then it, I sometimes like feel it creeping up, pre creeping up on me and I just now i know what steps to take in order to prevent it from getting me into a funk of a few days or even a couple weeks so uh very big i've been working on my health working on my mental health and just staying true to myself i have i i think i have been going through like a little stage in my life where i just honestly like i deep um i don't know what it's called but like i separated myself from honestly everyone in my life just because I do identify as a huge people pleaser and uh, I just decided that I need to work on myself and I need to grow myself first before I allow people again in my life just because um, if I go into a relationship knowing who I am, knowing my worth, knowing my identity, it's very different than trying to figure that out while there's a lot of noise around you. So I decided to, for these couple of months, these these last couple months, uh, decide, like separate from everyone and work on myself. And honestly, it's been great. I've been discovering myself in so many different ways like for example i've been adding my my wardrobe has been changing i've been adding so many vibrant colors so many like uh colors that i usually wouldn't go for i was a very neutral girly just black white and it's funny how i say that as i'm wearing a black shirt but black white tans browns and like that was all of my wardrobe but i have been doing some shopping and you know just finding interest again in the pinks and the blues and the oranges in the crazy like colors and the crazy wardrobe and it's very funny because that's how i used to be before having kids if anybody knew me when i was like between the age of 12 and 18 I would always have the bright colors, the nice wardrobe, the nice clothes, always go all out, always dressed my best. And I stopped doing that after having kids. I, my body started changing, my mental health started changing, and I just stopped doing that. And I discovered that I love that. Like I love looking at myself and seeing myself in bright colors, seeing myself in, uh, you know, just create, being creative with my wardrobe and my fashion. And so now that I've been like redoing that again, I, I'm just so happy. I look at clothes all the time. I love shopping. I love playing with different things, playing with different colors. And it's something that just makes me happy and it makes me feel like myself again. I am a girly girl to heart and just being able to bring that out again in me, just it makes me so happy. So I've been doing that. Um, I'm, I've also been, you know, slowing down my life a lot just because my kids are getting older and, um, I just, I realized that I was work, 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 uh, growing, you know, just the normal things that is actually really good for you. But I also decided that I wanted to slow things down in my life and focus on my kids being home. Uh, you know, just doing more of like a stay-at-home mom thing 
my husband and I own a business and it was honestly taking a lot of my time and it was very stressful it was very uh, like chaotic and so that kind of goes tied into my health also because I did struggle with high cortisol levels, high stress, which was bringing like other issues. So I talked to my husband and I'm like, listen, dude, I need to step back. I need a break. I need uh, to just focus on my kids, myself, my house, and like, I just need a break. And so we mutually agreed that that was what's best for us. So I still work and I still, you know, I obviously do things because if we don't work we don't eat but um it is a lot less for in my end my husband thankfully is taking a lot of the load off of my shoulders um i still work but um but it's different so i'm focusing on my kids as you know my leah she's doing homeschool and so I'm really focused on that and making sure she gets the best education she possibly could. Jeremiah starts homeschool in a couple of months. Uh, Madison, she's been potty training. So there's a lot that's been going on. And honestly, I'm at a place in my life where I feel happy, I feel content, I feel like, like this is where I'm supposed to be. So little by little, we're getting through it. It's a journey, it's a process but i know that this is where i want to be this is where god has me right now and uh i just feel good so we're taking it day by day and yeah so that's like a little bit of an update of just everything that has been going on in my life it has been a crazy couple of months everything spiraled since turning 25 just something like shifted in me something changed in me and um i'm just loving this person that i'm becoming um standing up for myself believing in myself and just doing what i love to do not what other people want me to do but what i truly love to do so doing great over here uh but like i said uh, there's a lot so I know that there's so many things that I'm missing but I don't want to bore you anymore and number two I'll continue sharing about my journey in other videos and I'm pretty sure as I document you guys will be able to slowly see the change of everything that's you know going on so right now I I just did my hair, which is another thing that I'm focusing on and making sure I get ready every day, making sure I look, you know, somewhat put together every day. Um, so I'm going to put on just like a little bit of makeup. I'm not going to put any foundation or anything like that on. I am just going to put some mascara, just do my eyebrows a little bit, maybe just like a little bit of blush. I'll see how I'm feeling. And yeah, then let's go downstairs and reset my life this week has been hectic my house is a complete disaster it's a complete mess um but we have to get it all back in control do laundry just do everything so let me show you guys a little bit of that and yeah i'm just happy to be back with you guys and uh, my little community that i have here on youtube so, leah's doing homeschool right now and the kids are drinking water because they just came back from outside but I wanted to show you guys how I've been making my iced coffee lately. I got the cutest cup from TJ Maxx. I think it was like five, six dollars or something like that. And it comes with the straw and the little top. And so I filled up my cup with ice already. And this is probably my favorite iced coffee. So I just pour some of this up to the top. It's just so much easier this way. And I've been testing out this brown sugar cinnamon um, flavor for my coffee. It's all right, but I can't put too much of it because if not, it's just like very overpowering. So I probably just do like a little bit of it just to give it like that like cinnamon taste, but I don't want it overpowering. And then I picked up this cold foam vanilla sweet cream from Target and i just pour that all over the coffee and yeah it's honestly like a little treat for me but it's so good so i just go ahead and give it like all of that foam because why not 
and I just mix it and as the foam goes down it'll mix in and it's like a little creamer I have to drink some of it because I think I put too much in it yeah it's so good Mhm. Mm you cannot try this baby you silly this is coffee I don't think you're quite ready for coffee yet. You're big and you are big, girl. But not for coffee yet. You're right. You are big, baby. Mom life. This is so good, you guys. And just the fact that, like, my cup is so cute just makes it, like, ten times better. Also, I did want to show you guys something because I did get a lot of new subscribers due to my coffee bar videos my original coffee bar video and my valentine's day coffee bar video and so i wanted to show you guys a change i'm actually really nervous because i feel like you guys will probably be a little bit disappointed but <laughs> there's a reason why <laughs> i did what i'm about to show you guys and i just want you guys to just just have hope okay all right, so let me show you guys really quick what I'm talking about. Ta -da! Do you guys see anything different? <laughs> so as you can see, I took the shelf off and I bought these new frames to put up here. I don't think they're called frames. I think it would be considered a wall art, right? Um, wall art. But um, yeah, so there's a reason why I did this. Ignore the big hole in the middle of them. They're clearly not hung up yet, and that's from taking off the shelf. And first, I just want to show you guys the prettiest flowers that I picked up the other day. But um, yeah, so obviously this is a change, very different from what I had initially at the coffee bar. But the reason we took off the shelf was because it just kept like sliding, not sliding, slanting like this and there was like no way to get it up straight we uninstalled it and reinstalled it like a three maybe four times uh we got different screws we just did different techniques and it just was not working i don't know if it's that we just didn't know how to do it or it just was not looking right one night we came back home and everything that i had on my top my top shelf it had like slide slid off and fell on the floor and there was like things that were glass and it shattered and thank god that i was the first person that walked into the kitchen and not one of the kids but it just was not looking right and if you can tell in my valentine's day coffee bar video we had installed like these big brackets under and first of all i helped for a little bit and then it didn't and second it just didn't look how I wanted it to look. I just wanted it to look like a nice, clean, floating shelf because that's what I purchased and that's what I wanted, but it wasn't giving that look. So I just got frustrated and I told Brandon, like, let's just take it out and I'll just buy very, like, simple, minimal pieces of, like, wall art and we'll put it there and then maybe we'll, like, install, like, a light on the top to, like, come over the, the wall art and just make it, like, a moment and take off the shelf, which honestly makes me so sad because I loved the look and, like, decorating it and just having, like, that extra storage on the top and everything, but it's okay. So... Uh, I, that's like the best wall art I found that was more so like the look I was looking for very minimal very like modern uh, something versatile if we move we're not gonna stay here forever so if we move it's something we can take with us and we can just fit it in you know like the next place so I know it's not for everyone oh so if you guys liked it also I'll link it down below and you guys can go ahead and purchase it for yourselves uh, let me just show you guys one of the reasons why I did get it though is because it has this border right here and this border goes with 
honestly like the whole theme in my house it goes with my bar chairs my table my entertainment center it just goes with everything i have that theme throughout my house and then obviously the cream and the black that's also like a theme in my house so it just fits perfectly in my home so i thought they were very nice we're gonna obviously hang them up and everything i just have them here for now but yeah so that is kind of what it's gonna look like now once they're like hung up and then obviously i'll decorate this better and everything like that so um yeah that's i guess a big update especially <laughs> that most of you guys came from watching my coffee bar video so if that's disappointing i am so sorry you guys but it's just something that we had to do all right so it is now so much more later in the day and we have to get the kids ready for martial arts they have a class today today mondays is their latest class and i really don't appreciate how late it is but it is so important for the kids they love martial arts so we you know just figure it out with like bedtimes and all of that just as long as they like are able to go because they love it so much so right now i just went and got their bags because they need to change into their suits and while they're doing that i cooked dinner i made pork chops with rice and beans so i'm gonna put that all away so that it's not sitting out while they change my kitchen is a mess but i guess i'll just clean everything when all the kids go to bed tonight i'll just stay up for a little bit longer and clean i hate waking up to a dirty kitchen it's just it stresses me out like i can't even sleep right when my kitchen is dirty oh i'm i feel like the camera is so low so today i did dinner on this the beautiful griddle i love this griddle actually let me pick up the camera a little bit <laughs> that's like a little bit better I use that griddle almost daily. I make pancakes in them in the morning. Brandon came, he made eggs in them. Brandon is preparing for a martial arts competition he has this weekend. He has been preparing these last couple of months, but this week is very strict for him just because he has that competition on Sunday, which we're very excited about. And I'm pretty sure I'll be vlogging. I don't know, let me, I have to ask him to see if that's something that he's okay with. But um, due to his competition, he is eating like a very strict diet. He's working out like a lot and you know, just preparing for that physically. So he eats a lot of eggs for like the protein and all of that. This is like so big for the little, little whatever. Um, side note, I need to buy Tupperware and I always forget and I never have Tupperware and every time I put food away, I remember that I need to buy Tupperware but when I go shopping, I always forget. So one day I'll remember and one day I'll have a Tupperware to put my food in. So, as I was saying, Brandon, he's gonna be competing this weekend. And so the point of me telling you guys all of that is because Brandon loves to make pan um, eggs on the griddle. I like to make pancakes. Today I like like um, seared, I guess you could say, some meat, which was really good. Um, some red meat, and it was really, really good. And so, I don't know, it's just so versatile. It's easy to clean, it's easy to maintain. And I just love the griddle, and it's affordable, so I guess that's good, too. Let's get, um... So, my mother-in-law bought the kids the cutest little cups. So, they look like this, right? But you can stretch them out like this. Here, let me open it, because there's, like, air in them right now. And so, you open it like that, and it becomes, like, a cute water bottle. And then, when you're done with it, you just scrunch it back up and the kids love them and i love them because it saves space when i go to store them and this is jeremiah's how cute is that i'm gonna try to see if i can find a link oh yeah we forgot about yours Wait, madison really wants me to show you guys hers so hi this is madison's. okay so and this is madison's it is so cute i'm gonna try to see if i can find a link for these 
the kids love them and I think they're perfect for springtime and it holds so much water in them too. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna fill up their water bottles with ice and water because that's their favorite and then um, get them ready and all in the car to go to martial arts. All right, so we finally made it to martial arts. Brandon was kind enough to take the kids in and get them ready and set up for their class. That actually started about like a minute or two ago. So I have to hurry up, but I am gonna end the video here. I don't wanna record the kids at martial arts just because, you know, just to protect their privacy and the other kids that are there and all of that. And I also wanna be present and, you know, just pay attention to them the whole time that they're there. But Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for listening listening to my little rant today in the morning and just being here. Um, if you have watched this video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up, leave down in the comments, just a, a sweet comment, just, um, just to know that you're here and that you're supporting me. And if you're new here, then go ahead and subscribe and join the family. And yeah, so thank you guys again so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.